Fans are what keep Major League Baseball and every major sport for that matter going. Without them, there would be nobody watching, supporting, and sending in revenue to these teams and players. They also motivate players and teams to do better as the season goes on, and in summary, baseball especially is just better with the stands packed with people. With all that being said, there's a line that needs to be drawn between supporting your team and getting personal or violent. We've seen plenty of player-fan interactions over the years, with most of them being heartfelt and wholesome ones. We've even had some players take popcorn or even nachos from fans in a friendly way. But what also has went down is the so-called fans who throw things onto the field, sometimes directed at the player nearby. Take a second to like this video, and if you're new to the channel and end up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button for future baseball content. To start off this video, let's go over some of the recent times that fans of teams have thrown objects onto the field, whether it's beer cans, baseballs, or whatever it may be. Several years ago, one of the first ever wildcard games took place between the St. Louis Cardinals and Atlanta Braves in Atlanta. After a very controversial infield fly rule that helped put an end to a big Braves rally, the fans were not having it, throwing beer cans and whatnot onto the field. The Cardinals players all went to the dugout and it was just straight up mayhem for a while. You then have Game 5 of the 2015 ALDS between the Texas Texas Rangers and the Toronto Blue Jays, one of the craziest postseason games really ever. During the seventh inning after a controversial call in which gave the Rangers a one-run lead, fans started to hurl beer cans and objects onto the field. It got to the point where the Blue Jays players had to start yelling at their own fans to stop as a beer can even hit a young kid in the bottom of the stands. Now let's move on to the times that fans have thrown things directed at players. In the same ballpark, Rogers Center in Toronto, but this time a year later in the American League wildcard game against the Orioles, left fielder Kim Yun Su was was catching a routine fly ball when a beer can went down near him. He caught the ball, but center fielder Adam Jones was not happy, screaming up at the stands in anger. The guy who threw the ball was a man named Ken Pagan, who actually bought a ticket to the game last minute around midnight before the game, said he was caught up in the moment and actually had two beers in his hand at the time of the incident. Pagan ended up being banned from all major league parks for one year for his inexcusable act. During game four of the Red Sox-Yankees ALDS in 2018, Red Sox closer Craig Kimbrell came in on relief to end the ball game. As he was leaving the bullpen to run onto the field after after warming up, a beer can was shown being thrown right near him, missing by a lot and ending up behind him, thankfully, to the point where he didn't even seem to notice. Fans also don't necessarily have to throw things at players to cross the line. Zach Granke is a guy who has dealt with social anxiety and depression his entire life. While warming up in a playoff game in the bullpen at Yankee Stadium, some Yankee fans took initiative to mock him about it, also chanting stuff about Granke's mother and calling him by his actual first name, Donald. One of baseball's biggest and most popular traditions is throwing the baseball back onto the field if it's a home run hit by the opposing team. I, well, I personally think it's stupid. Most people only get limited shots at simply getting a baseball at a game, let alone a home run ball, so why throw it back? And if you don't want it, simply give it to someone who does. In 2018, Giancarlo Stanton hit a home run to the monster seats at Fenway Park. The fan who got the ball ended up throwing it back onto the field, with the ball actually bouncing and hitting Stanton on his way around the bases, and one of the more bizarre fan throwing things back onto the field situations situations we've ever seen. The man's name was Andrew Lastrape, someone who was actually making his first ever trip to Fenway Park as he was a 32 year old from Atlanta. Andrew swore it was an accident and nothing actually ended up happening. We then now have the most recent incident between a player and a fan, with this one actually not ending very well for the fan. Alex Verdugo is one of the nicest guys in baseball. He's energetic, fun, and loves to talk to and interact with the fans. When the Red Sox were playing the Yankees earlier in the year, Alex Verdugo was mic'd up and loved every single bit of it. He was out chatting and playing around with Yankees fans in left field, and even kind of made friends with a guy who was talking trash to him in a friendly way, with the two being really nice about it. With Verdugo being back out in left field for the second time at Yankee Stadium with fans, everything seemed to be going normal. It was a rainy Saturday night, and Verdugo apparently threw a ball up to a young fan in the left field bleacher seats. The young fan did not end up getting the ball though, as someone else did, throwing the ball back at Verdugo when he had his back turn actually hitting Verdugo. Verdugo was not happy, to say the very least, looking like he wanted to jump up into the stands and fight this so-called fan. Verdugo continuously screamed up at the bleachers and had to be held back by one of his coaches and teammates. There's another point of view of the incident, where the person recording actually is right next to the moron who threw the ball. You can see this person visibly shaking, clearly nervous, before he's taken away by stadium security. It was later reported that this person was banned from not only just Yankee Stadium, but every major league ballpark for life. Hope it was worth it. From throwing beer cans onto the field, baseballs onto the field, taunting players about their personal lives, or throwing objects at players, it's all bad. So if you ever go to a game, just be a good person. It's simple. Don't throw things onto the field.